Hey everyone, welcome back to the Twisted ADV channel. My name is Chris. Today we're going to spend a little time in the shop doing some Jeep installs and get out of the, the nasty wind here in Oklahoma. Um, what I have here in front of me is the cargo basket from EAG. And it's something that we picked up in hopes that it would help us better organize the back of the Jeep uh, for our trips. Maybe put all the light gear and stuff up on top and then slide the ice chest and the, the hard luggage on the, uh, the bottom there. Um, so it came very nicely packaged in the, in the box and it's, it's well protected so I don't suspect any dings or whatnot. But let's go ahead and get started, open this up and then uh, we'll start the quick install. So we got it all unwrapped and everything identified and ready to go. Got my instructions, got the hardware and all the pieces set out. And it should be a really quick install. Now my Freedom Top is currently on the Jeep. And the way it looks, you can install this without the top on or you can install it with the top on. Uh, but the instructions are showing it that it goes on top of the Freedom Top. And so there's a concern there is if you ever want to take your top off when the, the sun comes out and you're ready to go out and play, um, you're going to have to remove the basket. It's not something that will be able to mount underneath or to the Jeep itself and then rest the Freedom Top on, you know, on top of the cargo brackets. Um, and what I'm looking at here is right here, that bracket is going to sit right on the, on the rail and it's got... Uh, the sides and those sides are going to keep it from being able to um, have that top rest on it so it looks like we're, we're going to be stuck with either removing the basket every time you take the top off or um, or just not installing it at all so those are your options let's go ahead and install it all right so we have everything kind of set up and, and laid out the bolts, the washers, the nylon washers, lock nuts. Uh, it takes a T40 to take off the Freedom Top, and then you'll want 13 millimeter to uh, to tighten the bolts down to the main tray. Okay, so at this point, we're just gonna now feed in the uh, bracket itself. Try not to bust your glass. And then just mount it right on top. There is an insert. Put it a hold. Take your factory mounting hardware, loosely put it in place. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to leave it a little loose just so that way whenever you're putting the main basket in there, um, you'll have the flexibility to, to get it in before you actually have to tighten it. Take the uh, bracket. Don't bust your window. Oh. And then re reuse the factory hardware. Okay, so we have both sides mounted on each side. It's a little loose and we'll go ahead and get the main basket and we'll uh, see if we can get that installed. Okay, all right, so you saw that. You might want to wiggle that thing in there like a Tetris piece. But uh, hey, if you don't have a support, I would definitely find someone to help you with that. Uh, but it should be pretty quick and painless at this point. We'll run the bolt through the front and then uh, attach it to the back. You're good to go.
All right, so the cool thing to note for me um, about the install or even about this cargo rack itself is the fact that um, it doesn't interfere with the, the seats, the back seats. Uh, my back seats have that reclining kit and there are some of these cages or baskets, if you will, that way if you have that reclining kit, it'll butt up right against it and it won't let it uh, fully seat. It'll, it'll be interfering with those seats. So this one, in fact, from my understanding, does not and so we will test it right quick and as you can see there's plenty of space between the actual cargo rack and the seat so you're not going to have any issues with any kind of recline kit or anything like that all right guys so that about wraps up this install um so far really happy with the uh the ease of installation it took only maybe 30 minutes if that and that was by myself. Um, I would definitely suggest making sure that you have somebody that can help support the tray or maybe a box or something in there to help provide that um, stability while you're trying to get that bolt and line them up in the brackets. Keep everything loose, get it all set, then tighten everything down. Uh, I would probably also suggest having an extension so that way whenever you're trying to reach the back end, if you're ever trying to remove or whenever you were tightening it down, uh, you may need to have that to get access. Uh, for those that may have questions or um, thoughts about it, it is textured, it is sturdy, ain't going nowhere. Um, and so I've got about 21 inches, 39 and a half across, and to the lip, it looks like 21 and a half inches there. So. You have quite a bit of storage capability rack um, and the height to be able to store your ice chests or coolers or anything else that you may have. Uh, standard lawn chairs, you know, it'll all fit without issue. So you gotta have all your essentials, your pillow, your sleeping bags, recovery gears. Uh, hey, never leave home without it whatever else that you need. And then the great thing about it is the fact that it has all the, uh, the spots that you can tie everything down to and if you need the little extra strap. And, oh. <sighs> and you got the space for all your other boxes and needs. So again, if you have any questions or concerns about the product itself, EAG basket, uh, it's a great, a great um, thing to have to keep you organized for the trail. So, hey, take care, guys. Click that like and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.